and don't worry about that we're gonna fix that as you can see the width is too uh, it's too wide so what we want to do is we actually want to resize this when we click on browse library and then resize this back to the original size when we click on the add book tab So what we need to do, well first actually before we do that, we're going to make use of our filler. You guys see these, uh, these tabs? Well, we're going to make it wider just because it looks better that way. We're going to make it like this. So we're just going to stretch this, the width of this and the width of this to this. And the way we're going to do that is the naive way. So I have this filler here, and I'm going to set the filler to a string containing seven spaces. So hit the space button seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm just add a comment here saying seven spaces. And what we're going to do is we're just going to say filler plus filler plus plus you want to surround the ad book with a bunch of empty spaces I don't know if there's, there's a different way of doing this but this is the way I do it and then we're just gonna add one filler in our browse library surround it with just one Okay, now if you run the application, oh, it's actually too much. Um, okay, so we need to decrease. Let's actually make this six spaces. So delete one space, six spaces, and we're just going to add surround this with one more space and do the same for browse library just to get the maximum width that is allowable and now here we have it we still need to fix this so we need to resize when we click browse library and the way we're going to do that it is quite simple. Well, first, in, inside our library interface, let's create get methods. So remember, we have add book panel, browse library panel, and JTAB pane, and the filler. So we just want to get a uh, set get method for those. get method for the BLP browse library panel get browse library panel return public j tabbed pane get tabbed pane public string get filler we need this we need get filler because we're actually going to be making use of the filler that we declared here instead of declaring another filler over there Let's just get this one. All right. Now 
head on over to your library system. And what we're going to do is have our library system implement the change listener. So import this, make sure it's Java Swing event, and hover over this. Add unimplemented methods because every time you're implementing something, an interface, you need to implement a certain amount of uh, methods or method that this interface has. Now, if you uh, think back to when we were implementing serializable back in our uh, Vim object, book object, and library object, that is a special case. We didn't need to implement a method there. We're telling the uh, Java compiler that it's serializable, but we really don't need to implement any methods when we're implementing serializable. But for all other cases, or at least most other cases, whenever you're implementing a an interface such as the change listener, you need to implement something from this interface. In this case, state changed. Now what this state changed is, this state changed is gonna fire. This state changed is gonna is listening for an event in which in which you click on a tab a tab header so if you click on this this thing is listening the state change is listening it's gonna be called and the event is gonna be passed on so let's just put a comment here saying called when tab changes now if we are going if we are inside if the current tab right now is add book and we're clicking the browse library tab this listener is going to be called now we need a way to detect which tab is being pressed and the way to do that is a simple else if and else statement so if screen that we're going to get the tab pane there's a method we define, remember? And we're going to get the selected component. No, the selected index. If the selected index is 1, that means we just clicked on the Browse Library tab. So we click this. The selected component is 1. Selected index. So this is index 0 and this is index, index 1. 